by Shaw. Uh, we've got to say good morning to uh, Gareth Smith, who's in the airport. Is that international or city? No, Dublin. Oh, so, oh, so come, yeah, oh, so, oh, yeah, because yeah. the flight, yeah, it's yeah. Come, they have to come from Dublin. So, yeah. Uh, what's he saying about poor Damien Horan in the middle? Uh, <laughs> she says, uh, sat in an airport D- watching D- this. Yeah, Damien's face is hilarious. What oh. that means. It's a bit harsh. It is a bit harsh. It she's is, did, really. She's Don't little to be doing. I know, yeah. Well, <laughs> wait, wait till she gets here. She's on her way. Loads of messages coming in, including one from a friend of yours who lives in California, I think it is, Beth. Yeah, Noel O'Meara, uh, listening in California. Tell That's us it. about him. Noel O'Meara, yeah. He, um, God, he, went, he moved to America. God, must be nearly 30 years ago now. He's a good friend of mine now, and he, he also, you know, helps me out a lot to get here. Okay. Helps me out a lot to get here now with um, with expenses and stuff like that. He's a good lad. So did you tell me you were on this morning, did you? And no, I didn't tell anyone I was on. Ah, <laughs> kept, kept, oh, that's kept it on the QT, but then but there uh, you go. That's he's good. a good lad. He comes home once a year now, and, and that, so he's from my hometown. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. So. so it's 30 years he's been away and he still 20, keeps... Yeah, 28 wow. or 29 years, yeah. Time flies, doesn't it? Any more messages, Beth? Well, we wanted to reveal the name of oh, the yeah, 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 Big yeah. Daddy. Shirley Crabtree. Yeah, and lots of people got it right, actually, so well yeah, done. Well done, well 15 done, everybody. bonus points, yeah, there's no absolutely. prizes. Absolutely. Um, and Andre says uh, the whole conversation that we were having just before the break reminds me of Froberg in uh, 2016, Paul Owen, when Gary Johnson and Danny Webb came by and on invitation excused themselves with, sorry, but we've got to follow Grandad, uh, Michael Rutter. Hope it's not <laughs> this morning. Actually, uh, I've got to take umbrage there as well, because... Uh, me and Damien are both older than Michael Rutter. He's only 46. Mm. I can't believe he's only 46. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Can't say that. Yes, you can. Oh. Of course you can. Yeah, you won't be, you won't be awake anyway. Okay. Anyway, more messages. What have we got here? Um, well, you were hoping to get away in a couple of weeks. Well, Charlie, a.k.a. Bondi, uh, says you can go over with him if he can fit you in the car. Oh, is he going on the car now? Mm. I can't do that. Too busy at work. Boss won't let me have any time off. You see, see him there, sat in the corner behind us. It's his fault. Take him. No, he, he'll <laughs> be quite him. happy. No, <laughs> if, if we do go, we've already got a, a plan A sorted out. Don't know what plan B is, but we've got a plan A sorted out. Oh, thrilled. Blame, uh, blame Stevie BT. That's all I'm going to say. From <laughs> Emo Stephen from up Lisbon Way. Uh, Crumlin Way, beg your pardon, yeah. Nathan Hamilton has uh, texted us. If you want to do the same, studio at radiott.com. Good luck to Nathan Harrison today. Fast and safe, lad. Uh, so loads of messages of uh, good luck coming in. Let's just remind you of the schedule as it is mm. hopefully going to be today. Uh, roads around the course are going to close at 11.30, and that's when our commentary team will be on air, giving you a flavour of what's happening around the course. Uh, the Manx Grand Prix newcomers race A and B over four laps is scheduled for 12.15 there'll be then a practice at 2.40 uh, that's over two laps and then roads around the course opening hopefully no later than 4.15 Tough week for the organisers boys, tough week for you guys, tough week for all their marshals and good morning to all the Orange Army if you can help by uh, marshalling today we'd love you to do that, please get yourself to the TT Grandstand, the signing on office is just below the studio here just come and see the guys, and if you, if, if, you, if you can help out, it'd be much appreciated help today, because I know they are, they are struggling, so yeah, they are, so if you want to get involved in that, you can. So, this week, how do you compare it to any other Manx Grand Prix that you've done, Gareth? First off, I mean, you well, wouldn't want to be Gary Thompson, would you? No, no, <laughs> definitely not. The weather and, you know, everything that's happened this week, you couldn't have, you couldn't have planned for it, you couldn't have wrote, you know, but, you know, it's been bad, we've had bad weather other years, but it just hasn't been you know, to this extent. Mm. It's been really tough. I mean, it's yeah. not just been a little bit of rain, it's been a lot of rain. We've still got the host pipe ban in place, I think, have we, Alex? Yeah, yeah we still have the host pipe ban mm. in place. Uh, you know, and we've had so much rain, but then it's been that mist as well, that mist that we don't normally get. We normally just get rain and the mist comes in with it, but we just had mist on its own, which is very weird for August. Yeah. We'll get all meteorological now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Met Office will give us a full check in a, a, in a couple of minutes' time. So with the amount of times you've been sat there ready to go and all of a sudden, sorry, guys, you know... The deflation is just something to be old. If you've never <coughs> experienced that sort of thing, it's not a nice thing to happen here at the grandstand because you can feel attention with all you boys and girls getting ready to go out, you know, and practice or race, and then just it's just a kick up the backside, isn't it? Really, well, you, you build yourself up for you know most of the day, you know, getting your head in gear for for going around the course, and mm. you know, I think a couple of times this week we've made it up on actually onto the road, ready to go, helmets on, to have the thing bong. Mm. You're not getting out. So. I, say, I mean, it's really difficult for Gary Thompson, isn't <coughs> it? And he, he does come in for quite a lot of criticism for it. But what what's, can he do? What's, yeah, what can he do? His hands are tied, you know. Absolutely. Whenever the, whenever the weather moves in or, mm. you know, I know he gets a bit of, 
he gets a bit of stick over a lot of stuff. A couple of people said during one of the practice nights, boys, just just your thoughts on this. I know you want to get out and race your bikes because that's what you boys want to do. You know, if, if you'd have been quite happy having a, a quick blast of Ramsey, right, okay, then yellow flagged over the mountain. But then when you get up the mountain, you can't see hand in front of your face. It, it's not nice up there. I've ridden, a, not the speed used, but I've ridden a road bike up there in the mist like that. And it's it's awful. Even if you've got the best kit in the world, the best visor in the world, you still can't see. It's really awful. It doesn't clear itself, and you've got to do that. And if you're doing whatever speed you boys are doing up there, it's it's, it's just not on. Is it? You just can't do it in this day and age, can you, Damien? You can't. Would you would you want to do that? Well, I suppose it's different here. Like, I mean, I wouldn't want Gary Thompson's job. Like, but hmm. um, I mean, back home, like road racing at home, like if it rains, it's a case of get out there, you big Jesse, and go race and, hmm. and put yeah, on your we'll wet tires. Down. Yeah, we'll but. Down. Here, obviously, you know, wet tires won't last and the changing conditions. And, you know, when you have 200 and something odd riders out there, I suppose, I mean, we all want to go out, like, and you sit there thinking, oh, I'd go, I'd go, you know. Mm. But, you know, when you know when you get to Ramsey, if you really don't want to be crossing that mountain if it's no. bad, you know. Turn the left and go to the coast road. Mm. Let's <laughs> extend the course. Let's do the road closing order then through Ramsey. <laughs> That'd be popular, wouldn't it? Hey, can you imagine mm. that? Stop for coffee in Ramsey. Oh, that's the Connor shop. Connor shop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Selfless plugs. He'll be open later. Uh, what about you, James? How, how's it been for you? Qu- quite, quite a tough one. You quite relaxed when these sort of things happen? I kind of do. I feel sorry for Gary to mend the tower. Really, it's been an awful week for him. I don't know how he's done it, but I think he's done an incredible job. Mm. Uh, me prefer. Me, myself, I prefer to wait until conditions are reasonably right. Mm. I don't see a benefit of going out coming over the mountain in fog mm. or changing tyres to suit the, con- this, the, the weather. Like, because on a good day, you're racing like today for the newcomers. It is a good dry day. Put on your good tyres and go. Mm. And um, the practice we have got this year, I have to say, has been brilliant. I've really enjoyed it. And... Um, it is the same for everybody across the board, so it is hard to stay relaxed about it and everything, but it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it, or no one can do anything about it. I think what we need to do next year, I don't want weather again like this next year, but we need to have a, a, a camera, don't we, up in there in a control tower. And just could you just imagine coming through saying things like the other day when the, the, there was a house fire in Peel, so we had to stop the session short and stuff, you know. You must think he, he, he's damned. It. It's James. Drop the flag. Drop the flag. Go on, drop the flag. <laughs> oh, look, he's hiding. He's, he's hiding the ball. Oh, oh, hey, that's James Samarai, by the way. And uh, yeah, James and all, all the team do a cracking job there at service and all the guys at uh, Crash Helmets and stuff during the week, too. That's, yeah, you, you wouldn't get Gary's job for a massive, massive clock. Now, Beth, more messages coming in, which you are scribbling down quickly. I am scribbling them down furiously. Uh, just a reminder again of contact details text 16177, start that message with TT, email studio at radiott.com or follow us on the Manx Radio TT Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, David Smithson says, say hi to Steve Ward, who does a webcam near Ramsey Hairpin, which lets us watch the racing off island. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, Roy Biggerstaff says, good luck to ah. Andy McAllister in the newcomers. Okay. Um, and Paul Maguire says, those three lads would make a great wanted poster. Hang on, <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Let's see which Paul Maguire that is. Oh, there's only uh, one. Oh, there's only one. one. Oh, that's Kay oh, Hannah, yeah. yeah. That's him, yeah. I seen yeah. him at the Ulster Grand Prix. And I, I, I have a qu- quick chat with him. There was, the, I think it was the night we did the, the, uh, the quiz there. There for the Injured Riders Fund, which raised a lot of money for the Injured Riders Fund. And Paul, good morning to you, mate. And uh, his riding days, I think, are done. I think, I think he's kind of he's good for he's 400 man for years, wasn't oh, he? Oh, he's very good for 100 yeah, man. Yeah, he's good uh, friends. And with a 250 Richard. man as well. Yes, he was. Yeah. A yellow colour scheme, wasn't mm-hmm. it? If I remember rightly. So yeah, he was uh, good friends with uh, Richard Britton. Richard Britton, Britton yeah. from, from Reggie here too. Oh. Uh, Wendy says, "Morning, Gareth, from your favourite cousin-in-law." Hi, Wendy. There we go. And Helen says, loving the T-shirt, Damien. Uh, lots of luck to everyone, especially the Irish lads. So I'm wondering if we could fashion something on your leathers with that logo. What hey. do you reckon? Yes, my name is Damien. Yes. I'm already dead for wearing this. Uh, if I put on my letters, I'm really dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Damien, and I'm thinking just a little 666 just on here. <laughs> you don't remember? Th- oh, do you remember those films, The Omen? I was born on the 6th of June as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Dun, 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 dun. There's a bit of thing going on. Uh, good luck to... Hello, what's happening? Oh, yes, okay. TT, Goog luck to Gareth. Expect the top three this year. Oh, okay. Hey, Chris, we have a Manx racing at Froberg this year. Dean Osborne. Have you ever done Froberg or anything like that with you boys? Mm. Not fancy going away to one of those um, uh, rounds? James. Oh, look at James's <laughs> face. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> we'll have a little bit of this. I take it you might have something in the pipeline for this. I was supposed to go to Shamir just... Um, two two weeks before the Manx but 
I just couldn't make it with everything. Mm. So yeah, definitely I would like to yeah change it up a bit. I was talking to a few of the, the, the guys about it, and they say that the atmosphere at them races is absolutely phenomenal. Who was Shields? You were saying on 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 like the, the slowdown lap after the race, they all stop and hand you a beer, and it's like what? But it's it's pro- it's proper old school. If they say that the Irish road racing is dangerous, and they say that he is dangerous, just take a little look at some of those videos of some of them street circuits. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> there's nothing more to be said than Paul Owen running past our studio w- with his pants down. He's brought his father as well. Well, we know we know we just need a bit of help. Ah, oh, lovely, good, lovely. Thanks very much. You crack on. That's just turned my stomach for the day. I know, it is. If anybody's having their breakfast, we do apologise. It didn't go on camera, oh. which is good because it, it is. But we'll never get rid of that no, image. No, we never. There. It, it, oh. oh. Some things you can't unsee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're listening to the Radio oh. DT chat show. Uh, if you want to get in touch, it's really easy to do so. Text 16 Start your message with TT. Email studio at radiott.com or just watch us on Facebook <laughs> Live. And hopefully you will never have to see what, what we have just, just seen. seen. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a full update from the Met Office just after this.